welcome to Miami Hair Shop. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on how to make this wig. This is the wig that I made and I'm going to be taking with you step by step in how to make this wig. The things that you're going to need is hair. This hair is from Miami Hair Shop. You're also going to need a wig cap, a mannequin head, some hair glue or a needle and thread and that's it. So let's get going. So the first thing that you want to do is just to glue on your closure. You need to start with the closure because your closure is going to mark where the rest of your hair is glued. So you just put the glue around the perimeter of the closure and then you just line up the closure to the start of your wig cap to make sure that the front of the wig cap is lined up with your closure and then just stick it onto your wig cap and make sure you press it down to secure the closure onto the wig cap. The harder you press, the more secured that this closure is going to be. And once you've done pressing it in, after the glue, your closure should look like this. It should look natural and it should be very secured because you've been pressing it on very hard. After you finish doing that, the next thing you're going to do is start gluing on your hair. You just need to measure your first piece of hair at the nape of your wig. This piece is the smallest piece, so you measure it and then you cut it. Just apply the glue all across the weft of the hair. Make sure that the glue stays on the weft of the hair because you don't want the glue to go onto your actual hair as, as it's very difficult to remove. So you just put the glue once again onto the weft of your hair and then set that to the side so that it can dry for about 30 seconds while you measure the next piece of your hair. So while that first piece is drying, just go ahead and measure the second piece and you're going to repeat the exact same step, except obviously this piece is going to be a bit longer because it's a bit higher than the first one. You measure around your head of your wig and then cut off the hair that you don't need and then apply the glue onto that piece of hair and then put that to the side. By this time, your first piece should have been a bit drier, a bit tackier after about 30 seconds. And then just stick that on to your wig cap and make sure you press it down to secure it. Once you've secured it, just put some pins onto the ends of that first piece of hair. This is just to make sure that while it, whilst it dries some more, it's not going to move while you manipulate the rest of your wig and put on the next piece. At this point, the next piece should be a bit tackier because it's been about 30 seconds. So you just pick that up and glue it on just as you did the first piece where you measured it before. And then just make sure you press it down again, just repeating the exact same step with the second piece of hair. You just have to keep repeating these steps over and over with the next piece of hair, making sure that you measure it just above the first piece, cut it and then apply the glue let it dry for about 30 seconds and then go ahead and stick it onto your wig cap, press it down, making sure it's secured and repeat onto the next piece of hair. Once I'm near the top of the hair uh, and there's a bit of a gap left, I start from the top of the hair. So you just want to measure just below your closure all around the perimeter from the start of the closure all the way around to the end of the closure. Just want to measure your next piece of hair and make sure you're starting from the top. This just ensures that the piece of hair just below the closure is very close to it there's no gaps in between and this just allows for a very natural and um, seamless transition from your closure onto the rest of your hair so i repeat the exact same steps as before but i just do it ex very very close to the closure and then once i've stuck that piece of hair on i move the hair away and then I add on the next piece just below that piece, making sure that it's very close to each other so that there's no gaps. There's no big gaps between each weft and you're closing it very close to each other, allowing for a very seamless look. Once all your hair has been glued on, it's going to look a bit messy. So what you want to do is just to brush it all together so that everything just blends in together. Again, the closure blends in with the rest of the hair. There's no gaps. And as you're brushing on, as I'm pulling this hair, you're seeing that it's very secure and um, the glue does the same job as sewing it on. You just want to brush the hair out and making sure that everything blends in together well. The closure is also looking very natural and it blends in well with the rest of the hair. Um, because of that last piece of hair that you glued on very close to the closure, you will not see any gaps, everything will blend in together. And this is what the wig looks like before it's been styled, straight after I finish making this wig. This is what your wig would look like. This is before anything has been styled. You just need to go ahead and style this wig and customize it for your hair. So after I finished customizing and putting on this wig, this is what it looks like. It's very natural. It's very long. It's secure. You know, even though I used um, some hair glue, it looks really nice, really natural on once you've, you know, laid your wig down and you've put it on. And I'm going to share with you in a different video how to style this straight hair. So I hope you enjoyed that video and and see you on our next one. Bye.